What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips on how to stand out at your volleyball tryouts and hopefully help you make it on the team. Just to give you a background of my coaching experience, I've coached over 30 boys and girls high school and club teams as an assistant coach and as a head coach. Some of the players that I have coached have also gone on to play Division I college volleyball. I've also learned from coaches who have won state championships, national championships, as well as coaches who have coached at the international level. So the tips I'm about to give you come from a very large pool of experience, not just from my personal coaching experience, but from many other successful coaches as well. In general, there are five things that most coaches are looking for. Experience, potential, coachability, work ethic, and intensity. First, we'll talk about experience. This comes from playing a lot of volleyball and generally having a good touch on the ball, which comes from repetition. Oftentimes, people think that experience is the most important part of making a volleyball team, but actually it's only one of many components. Now, playing volleyball will help you improve just by playing and getting that game experience, but it's more important that you play organized volleyball. What I mean by organized volleyball is playing for a club team where you have a coach, signing up for volleyball camps, or playing at volleyball clinics because you will learn a lot faster when you have somebody guiding you and teaching you how to play the game. Now we'll talk about potential. Potential comes in many forms. The most obvious one is height. If you're a little bit taller, then it'll be easier for you to perform some of the skills in the front row than someone who is shorter. But don't be deceived because height is not everything in volleyball. It does make certain skills easier, but just because you're tall doesn't mean you're going to be good. So if you're short, don't worry, you still have a good chance of making the volleyball team by being great at other areas. Another area of potential is your overall athleticism, which comes in the form of speed, strength, or reaction time. If the coach sees that you're pretty athletic but you don't have a lot of volleyball experience, that's okay because the coach can teach you how to play, and when you're naturally athletic, you'll pick up the skills pretty quickly. The third area is coachability, which means how well do you follow instructions and listen to the coach. Usually when a coach tells you to do something, they're telling you because they want you to get better or to learn from a mistake. If you're not going to listen as a player, then why play for a volleyball team if you're not going to listen to a coach? I know for me personally as a coach, I would much rather take somebody who is less skilled but is very coachable, listens well, and always tries to apply what I teach them than someone who is a great athlete but is not very coachable, does not listen, and is doing their own thing all the time. Because the person who works harder and is always trying to learn and improve themselves by taking feedback from multiple places will go much further in their volleyball career than someone who is very athletic and gifted but is very stubborn and close-minded. Plus, the person who is more coachable is just more enjoyable to work with and the coach will definitely take that into account. The fourth area is work ethic. It's very obvious to a coach when you are not trying hard all the time. The way you can stand out at a tryout is to go for the impossible balls. When the ball is all the way across the gym and you're trying to dig it, you should still sprint and dive and try to get it even though it's very far from you. Because that's the type of work ethic that the coach wants to see. And also going for those types of balls helps inspire your teammates to play better when they see you working your ass off. Working hard also means not making excuses. When you make a mistake, are you blaming other people for that mistake? Or are you taking responsibility for that mistake and trying to make it better by working harder and harder at those skills? Working hard also means hustling to your spot, hustling for the ball, hustling for your teammate, hustling when you're putting volleyballs back into the ball cart, and most importantly, hustling when it's inconvenient. Don't only go for balls that you think you can get. You need to go for the balls that you think you cannot get and just go for it. Just do it. The fifth area that will make you stand out in tryouts is your intensity. The best way to show your intensity is to be competitive. Make everything a game. Make everything a competition. Show the coach that you're competitive and that you hate to lose. Compete against the other team. Compete against your teammates. And most importantly, compete against yourself because you're always trying to be the best version of yourself. Even if it's not a competition, you should be the first one to finish your sprints, the first one to shag the balls, the first one to call the ball when you're passing, the first one to call your set when you're spiking, the first one to cheer when you win a point. The first one to do all those things. Be the first every single time and be competitive. Another great way to show intensity is communication. Volleyball is one of the best team sports and you cannot win without being a good teammate. 
Any time a ball is being touched, whether you're passing, setting, or spiking, digging, blocking, serving, you should be saying something all the time. And communicating loudly and often will also help you stand out the most in tryouts. If there are 20 people trying out for the same position as you are, the best way to stand out is just to talk all the time, to be loud and communicate because a coach will definitely appreciate someone who brings that type of positive energy as well as functional energy onto the court. Just to review what we've talked about, there are five areas that coaches are looking for in a volleyball tryout. Experience, potential, coachability, work ethic, and intensity. Ideally, you would like to have all five of those areas down, but if you're missing one or two areas, don't worry. You can definitely make up for those by emphasizing the other areas. For example, if you don't have much volleyball experience, but you're hitting the gym and trying to get in shape and work on your speed, strength, and just be in great condition for tryouts, that's going to help you stand out. You can also communicate. You can also be intense and be competitive. You can work hard and hustle. So there you can miss one area, but have all four of the other areas covered. Another good example is if you're a little bit shorter or maybe aren't the fastest or the strongest person in the tryouts, you got to make sure that you're getting as much experience and getting your repetition in during the off season. You're communicating with the right intensity. You're always hustling and that you're trying to apply what the coach is telling you as often as possible. Always remember that if you feel like you're lacking in one or two of those areas, make sure that you emphasize the areas that you do have complete control over, which are your work ethic, your coachability, your intensity, and your conditioning. You need to be in shape for tryouts. The last thing you want to do is to show up to trials unprepared and out of shape. That does not look good to the coach. One last tip that I'll give you to help you make your volleyball team is to do the off the court things, such as showing up early to help set the nets up and set the ball carts up, talking to your coach before practice and after practice about what you can do to improve or if the coach needs help with anything. Show the coach that you're committed by doing things well on the court and off the court. So there you guys have it. Those are my tips for how to stand out in tryouts and make your volleyball team. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your volleyball friends and teammates. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be responding to your questions. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.